Hey, what is up and welcome to this arena cutoff video for Marvel Contest of Champions. Today I'm going to cover round one of the Spider-Man Stark Enhanced and Joe Fix-It arenas. So as usual, what I like to first do is kind of talk about what kind of heroes are we dealing with for each one of the arenas. Is that kind of talks about or that kind of puts them in a category on what we can expect for their arena cutoffs. So with the new Spider-Man, no big surprise, they fall into the new category for both the four star and three star feature arenas. And when it comes to Joe Fixit, I kind of believe he's going to fall into the medium range. And that's what's always kind of the... Uh, the tough one when it comes to predictions are with these arenas, the four star basic arena specifically is that there's basically three categories and we, and it's based off of kind of like, how does the community feel about uh, what's about this specific champion? What's the sentiment? How many people are going to go after him? How many people have want nothing to do with him? That kind of thing. I think we had a really interesting one with Howard the Duck or how it was going to play out in terms of, was it actually going to be a medium or would it even go to the high level? And we clearly saw that, at least for round one, how the duck fell to medium in that medium range. And um, it'll be interesting to see if that holds for round two. But anyway, when it comes to Joe Fixit, I think he kind of falls into the same area, kind of a low-level, low mid-tier. And you'll see when I uh, take a look at the previous uh, medium tier results kind of what does that mean what do those numbers look like but anyway now that we've got the the champions categorized let's start going and take a look at uh, some past results so for the four star feature when there's a new champ in round one we really kind of were surprised last time with punisher 2099 because that was for the first time in many arenas for many new champs that we had a big dip in terms of the low point arena cutoff you can see that was in the low 10 millions and before that it was all the way back since Angela, where we increasingly saw the um, the arena cutoff numbers, um, you know, continue to go up. And I really think that, in my opinion, with Punisher 2099, that's that's kind of he. Those results are kind of an anomaly. I don't think we're going to see those. I think we're going to go just spike right back up, especially with the new Spider-Man. Um, given all the hype around the new Spider-Man and, and, and the initial kind of feelers from the community, a lot of folks like him. Now, there's some folks that kind of question his setup, but a lot of people do like his animation. Plus, there's just a lot of hype around the new Spider-Man MCU movie. Um, all those kind of elements, I really do think we're going to see a jump back um, to the previous um, numbers before the Punisher 2099 results. So what what about the um, the mid interest champs for the four star basic that I was talking about before? So you can kind of see um, the reason why I mentioned low is because there have been a couple. There's kind of a high end of the mid interest and a low end, and then the high interest uh, in this category we're talking like Magic and Karnak, which right around the three million for the round one results for the cutoff. But then for the most part, Phoenix, Doctor Strange, Venom, and Howard the Duck, they all kind of right around the same plane, right around 2.3 million. I really do think Joe Fixit is going to fall on that low side of the range here when it comes to mid-interest champs. So I really do think Joe Fixit is going to be around there. And lastly, when it comes to the uh, third, uh, the three-star feature arena for new champs, you can see even, even though we had the big jump, or I should say big drop, um, for the Punisher four-star feature, we did not see a huge drop when it came to the three-star feature, but it, it did have a in, uh, decline compared to the increase that we can, um, were seeing in the past in terms of a steady increase, I should, should say, and for the arena cutoff for the three-star arena. Again, here, I do think with this one, we're going to see something similar where, um, you know, we're going to continue to see these these numbers probably go back up into that 1.4 million range for the three-star arena, similar to what we've seen in the past with Carnage, just because, again, I think there's a little bit more popularity around um, the, the Spider-Man, the new Spider-Man versus what we saw for Punisher 2099. So let's actually get into those round one predictions. So when it comes to the four-star feature, I do think we're going to see a new all-time high above the carnage number at 15.5. Again, I think we're going to go back to that increase that we've seen in the past. And then uh, when it comes to the top 10% tier, I do see that number around around 4.2 4 um, 
um, million. I mean, there's not a big change in that number one way or the other, so I really do think it'll continue to, to hold even there. And when it comes to the four-star basic, again, that 2.3, 2.4 numbers where I think the prediction is going to come in for Joe Fixit. And for that 11 to 25 percent tier, there's a very consistent right above that last milestone rewards um, re rewards numbers. We're typically where we see that 11 to 25 percent, at least in the first round, end up. And when it comes into the um, thir three star arena, I think we're going to see um, again go back to the, some of those real close to that all time high that we saw for Carnage, right around 1.43 million um, for the new three star Spider Man. And I think again the 11 to 25 percent tier, kind of like these the last two arenas, those those numbers typically hold right around the last milestone um, reward number, which in this case we're talking right around 660, um, 660 thousand for that uh, cutoff so in terms of grind targets if you really want to feel safe i do feel like you're going to have to put in some grinding time in the four star arena to get at least 16 million to feel pretty secure that you're going to get the new four star spider-man and uh, for that top 10 percent if you want to end up in that tier you better go for about 4.5 million and then for the jackpot or sorry jackpot for the joe fix it um, the name of his arena is called Jackpot. But anyway, uh, for Joe Fixit, I think you're going to have to uh, a good guy, a grind target to feel pretty safe should be 2.6 million. If you get to that, you, you should feel pretty safe in getting um, landing in that top 10% tier and getting uh, Joe Fixit. And then for the 11 to 25% tier, if you get around, you know, a little bit above that last milestone reward, which is 1.5 million, if you get to 1.65 million, you should have um, got above most of the folks that stopped at that milestone. And then uh, for the three-star arena uh, to let, end up in the top 10%, if you get 1.45 million, you should feel pretty good with that one. Should be pretty safe. And um, for the 11 to 25%. Um, tier you want to get around 700,000 again my grind targets a different the prediction is actually what I think it's going to land um, but the grind targets are just kind of to give us that little buffer zone just in case some unexpected things happen and we get a little bit higher numbers than um, what are expected which you know to be honest now after the four point or the 14.0 update that could happen because they've simplified um, the way that arenas run and it's you can go a little faster now I don't know if that means people get to the same points they were before and just stop or will they actually go a little bit farther since in, because it's a time period that they have to get you know do some grinding versus a specific number we'll see I do know they've simplified things kabam has with the uh, the, the setup of the new arena which I think uh, makes it nice for everyone but anyway these are my thoughts for the uh, round one predictions and grind targets would love to hear your uh, ideas or any questions you might have in the comment section and um, if you did like this video would really appreciate smashing that thumbs up button that like button and of course if you like this video and uh, others that I have in the channel would really appreciate a subscribe. Other than that, thanks a lot for stopping by and have a great day.